you're coming up and you're doing this. So there's a couple of things I want to show you. One, notice my neck, the turtling. Okay. Two, um, so we're, we're anti-turtling, right? We're wanting to stand up. Now, what that requires is engagement across here, and it, it requires pulling your shoulders back and down. And then on top of that, it requires, you do have to actually look up. Now, the inclination when people start with their pinwheel, absolutely positively, is the sense of wanting to protect their face because suddenly you have the poi above your head. I completely understand. The challenge is, the other thing that was going on when you were doing it was this. When you have your hands up here like this, right, notice where the ball is. It's coming right in front of my face, right? So the chances of hitting my face are much higher than if my hands are here. Watch. Notice how the ball is much closer to my boob line. It's much farther from my face. So it is counterintuitive and yet also true that although you want to do this because you think your hands are further from your face, therefore your poi are less likely to hit you, you have less control when it's higher up there, most people do at least, especially as beginners, and it's more in line with your face, thus more likely to hit your face. So the remedy is to lower it down, bend the elbows as you're doing it, and imagine you're uh, brushing your hairline with your hand. So you're doing this little flourish with your wrist, to allow the poise to go from front to back as you're doing it. Um, so your elbows should be bent more. You want to open your elbows. You want to open, you want to open the elbows to the side like this uh, so that you can get the poi closer to your body without hitting your elbows. And my hand is actually rubbing my hair. So you want to try and get it that close. You want to have your hand no further than a fist from your forehead. And the entire time, you want your hand above your eyes. So if you watch me do it, you'll see how tight it is to my head, how close, and I, by tight, I mean down, but then also tight in the front and the back. And then you'll also notice that my hand never goes below, like, my eyebrows. One thing that you want to make sure that you're doing, especially when you start practicing this stuff overhead, is ensure that you have a tight core down here. So you don't accidentally like do this is this women we're just trained to do this uh, in many ways where we arch our lower backs right but then it can actually end up causing stress in your lower back so you want to keep yourself tough so that as you're doing it you're protecting your body and not causing excess lower back pain.